£34 for a foundation is a lot. I just love this brand so much. Oh, I hope it's full enough coverage. Not that I've got any wrinkles. I'm literally 19, but you know. I think I might have found the one. I think this might be the foundation. It's very powdery is the only thing. Like, it's breaking up on me. right now I've just got my eyebrows done and my eyeshadow done and because today's video we're going to be doing a foundation review I can't show you my foundation till later but if you are new here hi I am Anna I'm so glad you came across my channel I do loads of vegan beauty travel lifestyle content so if that sounds like something you would enjoy then it would mean so much if you decided to stick around and subscribe and if you are not new then welcome back so today what we are going to be doing is reviewing the Charlotte Tilbury foundation and that is that magic foundation now if you've not heard of Charlotte Tilbury before she literally smashes the beauty World and she has so many amazing products however the brand is a little bit on the pricier side so if you're looking to spend a little bit more on a high quality product then she has so many great pieces the whole range is cruelty free and she has so many vegan products as well so I link below all of the vegan products because not all of it is vegan however the whole range is cruelty free which is just great and it's really easy to see what products are vegan and I was shocked I was a little worried that some of my old stuff might not be vegan Vegan, but all of the stuff I have from Charlotte Tilbury is vegan and the majority of her popular products are vegan as well and everything about Charlotte Tilbury oh, I just love this brand so much I think she's one of my favorite makeup designers her makeup is not too faffy but it's beautiful it's natural or you can build it up to have a more glamorous look honestly the whole range has just something for everybody but today what I'm going to be reviewing is mainly the Magic Foundation and also the Airbrush Flawless Finish Set Powder at the end. And this powder is a game changer. I cannot explain to you. So you make sure you stick around to the end of the video to see my review of this powder. This is the Magic Foundation. And as you can see, it comes in this really gorgeous rose gold glass bottle, which I think is just so cute. I decided to go with this one instead of the Airbrush Flawless Finish one because that is the newer one. However, it is mainly matte and that is just not a look I like going for. I think sometimes it can look a bit cakey as well as the lady in the shop told me that they've had a few complaints about the fact it is very full coverage but it's not that buildable I also don't like a full matte foundation I like a demi matte which is what this magic one is so that means that it's partially matte and but you'll still get a bit of that glow I tend to think if you use that you can just use the powder on top to make it more matte if it's too glowy rather than getting a fully matte foundation it lasts up to 13 hours which I mean you can literally go out and it's gonna stay on all light. There is nothing worse than getting cracks in your foundation. So I love how long lasting this foundation is. Another reason I picked this one over the other one is it's not as strongly scented. The Airbrush Flawless Finish Foundation, when I went to go and test it in the shops, really smell. And for someone like me that has such sensitive skin, it's not a good idea to have a stronger smelling foundation on. It's just, you know, I get a red rash, and my skin breaks out it's just not a good idea for me but if you don't have sensitive skin and you want a really matte foundation then their new airbrush glow one i would definitely recommend anyway let's get on with it i'm going to put it on and i have shade medium five i got this tested in the shop but they also have a really great website which is really easy to decide which shade you're going to be so you could easily order it online as well what I'm going to do is take this buffer brush. Now, this is just from Lush. I got it for Christmas and I've been loving it. I didn't know that Lush did brushes, but this one, it's just perfect. And I decided to try a new foundation because I was just getting a bit bored. I love trying new foundations. And I've heard really good things about this one. So, we'll see, shall we? So, I've just put like a couple of pumps on the back of my hand. And I'm going to pop it on. Oh, I hope it's full enough coverage. I've been used to the Too Faced Born This Way. That's what I've been using, and I love that foundation. But, you know, I wanted to spice things up a little bit, try something a bit newer. Actually, it's growing on me. 
think it's very buildable. In comparison to the first layer that I put on, it's kind of built up a little bit, which I really like. I love a foundation where you can like either have it as light coverage or full coverage. Oh, it looks really pretty. What I love already about this in comparison to the Born This Way one is it feels like I have nothing on, like literally nothing on my skin. So that's three pumps so far that I've used, which isn't too bad. I think everyone always posts such funny faces when they put foundation on, don't they? Okay, so I'm loving the look of this foundation so far. I'm just going to go in with my very dirty beauty blender. Don't shout. I know it needs a good old clean. Normally I'm very good, but today I just can't be bothered. I mean, I'm very lucky my skin isn't too bad, so I haven't got too many blemishes that I need to rub in, but it just makes the whole thing look so much smoother and flawless. So I'm going to go in and do some concealer, put a bit of bronzer on and finish my makeup off, and then I'm going to come back and show you what the powder is like on top and give you my overall opinion of this foundation so far. Good things are on the horizon. I mean, it looks really nice. So, I would say I love the look of this foundation. It's literally everything that I like in a foundation. It's a natural without being too cakey. It just makes your skin look flawless. It gives it that little bit of an extra and smooths out any blemishes, any red areas. It looks hydrating, nourishing. It makes any wrinkles gone. Not that I've got any wrinkles, I'm literally 19, but you know, like any creases, I get a bit of dryness and redness around here and it's gone. I just love it. I think it looks really, really pretty and natural. So far, I think I might have found the one. I think this might be the foundation. I never thought anything would beat my Born This Way foundation because it's my baby. I love it so much. I keep going back to it. But my next daily makeup routine, this one might actually be in it. We're going to try next the Airbrush Flawless Finish Micro Powder. Now this is £35. The problem with Charlotte Tilbury is it's so nice, but so expensive. But I mean, look at this packaging. Everything about it is just gorgeous. I'm really, really excited about this and I hope I like it as much as the foundation. I'm just gonna take this Real Techniques brush and pop it on, just in the T areas. And I always put a little bit around my mouth because that's where my skin tends to crease. It's very powdery is the only thing. Like, it's breaking up on me. And I hate that. You know when you just want to put a bit of powder on, it gets everywhere. All over your clothes, especially if you're wearing black. Wow. It's like instantly mattified my face without being too much. Like it's taken the shine off, but it's not made it look really, really matte or anything like that. I got it in shade two, by the way, because I thought one would be too light and three, it would make everything too flat. Like I still want to highlight the right areas. So it's just made everything look really smooth and flawless. I'm honestly so happy with the look of this foundation and powder. I'm just going to go away and quickly finish any bits and bobs up and then I'll talk to you properly at the end. Just to give you know a nice little summary. I would say overall, I am so impressed impressed with this foundation. I think it looks so pretty. It just really gives you that flawless finish look. And I would say in general, it has worked absolutely magic on my skin. It looks glowing, it looks natural, but it looks full coverage. It covers any blemishes, any redness is just completely gone. Along with that powder, which I would say 100% is worth the value for money. £34 for a foundation is a lot. However, I feel like I always say this, I think it's worth spending that bit extra on a good quality, vegan and cruelty free makeup product because then you know it's going to last you a while, it's going to do good for your skin, the ingredients are good and it's going to work. Sometimes there's no point going out and buying cheap foundation and I'm not being happy with it. It's really important to find a foundation that you like and that you trust. And Charlotte Tilbury is just a brand that I literally trust in so much. I know that if I'm going to go and buy their products, I'm going to love them. And they might be a bit more expensive, but at least I'm left happy. And that is the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see any other makeup reviews or anything like that, then please comment below or any new videos. I hope you all have such an amazing week. Lots of love, everybody, and see you soon. Soon. Bye!